Good morning, it's five to nine on Monday the 2nd of November. Izzy is starting back at college today, but online college. She's not leaving the house for it this week. I have literally just got up, haven't even woken up properly yet, and I haven't even put the kettle on yet today. I can see various small children pottering past in their school uniforms, their hands being held by their mummies. I was gonna say it's a really, really lovely day, but actually there's a huge looming gray cloud. We need tea. The puzzle's looking like that, aka a mess. <laughs> I tend to have a go late at night whilst listening to all the news updates of the day. I'm going to put that away now, ready for a fresh day. I need to package up this GoPro because it's faulty and it needs to be sent back to its maker. Going to meet your maker, aren't you? Yes! Let's take all its fluffy fluffets off and get the attachments off and everything. They said don't send the battery, that's already out. That has to be safely checked in at the shop by 11 if I wanted to go today. Oh, the rain has started. There we are, the umbrellas have come out. I'm glad I can see people out my window, it makes all the difference. Need a cup of tea. Oh, I'm so dopey in the mornings. Look, just spilt that. I cannot coordinate myself when I first get up. Let the waking up begin. Oh, as he starts at 9.15, I think she's got 10 more minutes. I'm trying to sort this GoPro out. I had to get very creative with the packaging. I didn't realize that all the bubble wrap was gone and all the uh, boxes were gone as well. So I've just padded it out with loads and loads of sort of screwed up carrier bags in there and put some card around it and I'm going to put it in a jiffy and hopefully it should be secure, that's not going anywhere, right, it goes, there, tis done, it said stick the invoice to it so I went to fold it up and put it in a sacrificial jiffy envelope and put it on the back but then I thought well maybe they need to see it, they didn't specify so I've just put the whole thing like as a sheet of A4 on the reverse, obviously can't show you because of private details. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Look, that's gonna come ruckering up. I'm a bit short of time. Phew, I've actually made out in time. I think I should just about make it. I've done it. And since I'm in here, and since the shop is virtually empty, I might as well grab a couple of bits that I've run out of. Eggs being one of those things. Of course the problem is my mask is steamed up and I can't see what I'm doing. Oh dear. Oh, they don't have free range. All gone. I wouldn't normally, but it's going to save me having to go into another shop, that's the thing. Vinto I wanted. Oh, note to self, they have elastic here. Do occasionally need that for masks and things. Oh, back in the first aisle again. I don't know where anything is in this shop because I never come in it. Uh, Vimto. We've got squash downstairs, but we both like Vimto. Um, no, I don't have it. Okay, this will do just the eggs then. Well, the rain held off for a while. It's now back. I was just thinking to myself, this is the earliest I've had to be out for weeks and weeks. And it's only 11, it's not even that early. <laughs> it was a shock to the system, I have to say. Anyway, our next one's not for a few more weeks and that's uh, an appointment that Izzy has at a hospital. Do you know, I was thinking right at the start of this pandemic, I was terrified that Izzy would run out of her medication. For those that are new to my channel, that maybe only watched the last few, Izzy's in as good a condition skin-wise as she is now, entirely due to the medication that she's on, she's on a lot. So at the start of the pandemic, I was terrified that that supply might dry up if the National Health Service became overwhelmed. And now that little anxiety is starting to creep back in and we do have a good supply of it, it will keep us going for a couple of months at least. Uh, but I might be tempted to do what we did last time. The dermatologist was very obliging. He's like, right, let's get a good good stock in now, just in case you know we get tied up. Because he was worried he might get called away to work in other areas as well if it really went to capacity. So, yeah. Anyway, we should be all right, I think. I'm back. The builders are still in next door. That's what that funny noise is. I'm just looking at my random hairdo. What on earth? 
not really good at all this hairstyle stuff. Shoes off, Crocs on, hands are already washed. I had to do that obviously before putting the camera on, this is a bit of a problem. I hear an Isabel emerging. Or maybe I don't, I thought I did. Oh, the sun's come out now. Isabel was down, Isabel's in a grump today. <sighs> Isabel has not been doing her eye drops. Isabel's eyes are flaring up and crusting over. And now her skin's flaring up because that's what Izzy's eczema does. If one bit gets out of control, the rest of it follows suit, then it flares up as well. So she's in a grump and I'm uh, just exasperated because I go to great lengths to provide her medication for her and then she just doesn't always remember to take it. Remember in inverted commas. Anyway, it's coffee time and I'm in the process of clearing this table off after I trashed it doing the parcel um, and uh, then I'm going to do some laptop stuff at the table. Izzy meanwhile has just made herself some potato cakes and taken it back up to her room where she's about to start an online English lesson. First one was okay apparently and she's got an assignment to do that's going to keep her busy once she's finished with English. Oh my gosh, the weather. I've literally just been doing comments and I heard this great gust of wind and oh my goodness. We're getting these huge gusts of wind which are bringing the rain as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, can you hear it? Wow. My camera's actually wet. I'll try from upstairs. Seems to have calmed down a little bit now. And now it's completely sunny. I went to the loo, came back out and the sun is out. It's been really changeable today. Look, blue sky and everything, just like that. Hello, it's me, Izzy, for the um, Izzy life update <laughs> of the vlog. I did some college lessons today and now I've got a timetable that I need to stick with so I can get all my work done and then hopefully film maybe a video for my channel. Ooh. I couldn't quite manage to last until lunchtime so I've been having a sneaky snack, banana and almonds, my favourite combo. Oh, so you're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing? Yes, yeah, the, <laughs> the video lighting. Right, um, okay, food time. Put that in the compost. I need to put that in the compost bag, but honestly, it's terrible weather. Is that a plastic label? Why do they put plastic labels on fruit? Hmm, I don't think that, I don't know if that will biodegrade or not. I don't think it's plastic, actually. There's the tortellini ready, just boiling the kettle. Yeah. Boil that up quick. And I'm going to sauté this lot with some garlic and stuff and turn it into lunch. Apparently we've got some updates to the current situation of the pandemic. The Welsh Government have um, made some announcement or another, but I'm going to cook and eat and then I'll have a look and I'll let you know what they are. Here's lunch. I've just sautéed that with pretty much just garlic really and olive oil. It smells beautiful. If I do say so myself, oh, it's got some soy sauce in it as well. That's nearly done. I'm just going to stir them in together and put a bit of cheese on top. Now then, now then, let's see what's happening on the Wales Online app. There's old Drakeford there. He's our First Minister here in Wales. So this is different for England. Don't get confused. It is very confusing, isn't it? So for us, from next Monday, which is the 9th of November, only in Wales, people from two households will be able to form bubbles again. I am already in one because I'm a lone adult in the household, as is my other half, so we've bubbled. But anyway, everybody else will be able to as well. People from two households will be able to form bubbles again and meet in pubs, bars, cafes and restaurants when Wales' firebreak lockdown ends. Oops. Just dropped a bit on the floor. It is now three o'clock, dinner has been eaten and I feel really sleepy. I feel like I could put my head on the pillow and nod straight off. I can't quite decide whether I should do that or try and vigorously wake myself up with some very vigorous housework. In fact, I am gonna do the latter. Yes, I'm going to put a wash on, a laundry load that is, and 
tackle what there is of the washing up. There's not too much actually. Oh well, actually it's hardly even worth doing. There's a little bit. I should just do it shouldn't I? Because it builds up then and then it's an overwhelming amount. It's actually not raining. I might go and pop that compost in the compost bag out in the garden. Yes. Oh and I have learned from the Wales Online app that the travel restriction within Wales is being lifted so people could theoretically have holidays in Wales if they already live in Wales, which we couldn't, you know. Right, wake up Imo. If I drink a big beaker of squash, that'll sort me out. I might just be thirsty. Compost, put a wash on, washing up. Go. Compost emptied. I discovered our one and only courgette growing in the garden, had things eating it and was actually going manky on the end. So I've had to chop the end off. How flipping annoying. Anyway. Um, I put wash on, as you see. Uh, I've been having phone text conversations with three different people. Got a bit drawn into that. Now, as you can see, I'm enjoying the delights of putting the crockery away. I love these little melamine bowls I got from a Chinese supermarket years ago. Use them a lot. I've concluded that this is one of those fake tirednesses that creeps up on you because you're actually a bit, I don't know, bored because I haven't done anything that exciting today. I think that's what it is. I think it's, um, you get a bit bored and then you go into power save mode and you think you're genuinely physically tired. So there we are. I've got cheese stuck all over this because the other day I was eating noodles with cheese out of this mug and <laughs> it's stuck like glue all over it. Right, well I'm not going to be tired then if I'm just bored, I'm going to just be interesting instead. Unfortunately, what I've got lined up for myself after I've washed up is not something that interests me very much. It's looking up an email that I had from the Musicians Union a few days ago and there were details on it about a grant to apply for and I'm not sure if it's one that I've already applied for or not so I need to double check. And I should be really excited about that, but actually I'm really not. <laughs> I'd be excited about actually receiving a grant, but quite often these processes require you to dig out lots of information, your unique tax reference code, or whatever it's called, and passport details, date commenced trading, and all oh, uh, so You have to go rummaging around the archives. A CV I had to dig out for the last one, for the freelancer one. Luckily I had a CV, otherwise I would have had to have made one because I don't know, I don't normally need a CV, I just do gigs. Do you know what, it's about five minutes later and I'm just getting overwhelmed with waves of sleepiness. I am going to go and have a little nap. Ah, oh, my lovely bed. So inviting. Mm. I am emerging from my pit. It's five o'clock and it is now dark. Isabel has apparently pinched my vlogging light and banished me from her room because apparently she's filming, but she won't say what. Interesting. Well, I was having a lovely sleep and then the hammering began next door again and I woke up. But it's probably just as well because look, oh my goodness, quarter past five. I haven't looked up about that grant yet. I think I'm going to have to prioritise doing that now, aren't I? Yeah. I've got a feeling I've applied for it before. I'm going to make a cup of tea though. I always need tea when I wake up. <sighs> what I want to know is how is the day almost gone and it's dark and I feel like I've done nothing all day. <laughs> Again, this is the problem with lockdown. Just get used to doing very little and then all the little things that I don't really do seem to just get bigger and bigger and stretch out and fill the whole day. Oh, I haven't even practiced my flute yet. <laughs> I'd better do it. I'm feeling lazy. I'm gonna have one of these cheap biscuits with it, maybe two. One good thing about Izzy not being in college in person this week is I can use her lunch boxes as biscuit barrels. I'm gonna go and have a look at the computer and see what it says about this grant. I have done it. It's just another opportunity for people to apply. I've already applied for this one.
So I didn't need to do anything for that grant thing. I have already applied for it and I'm still waiting to hear if I'm getting it. I think I am. They said in theory I'm eligible, but they need to do some sort of financial check. Hopefully that's fine. Don't know what that is. I am feeling terribly lazy. I'm so tempted to not practice my flute. It's quite physical practicing a flute, you know. It's not like you sit back and relax and get on with it. You know, you have to... It's like a little bit of a workout. <laughs> Oh, come on, Imogen, just do it half an hour at least. Oh, it's, it's hard to stay motivated when there's no gigs on the horizon. But anyway, I know I will go and hang my clothes out and then I'll practice. Or should I practice and then do it? I'll play it, right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play for 30 minutes. It's my compromise to myself, it's better than nothing. And then I'm going to hang my clothes out and then I'm going to do some editing. Yeah, which is my favourite thing. That's what I really want to do. I love editing. Never gets old. Isabel got hungry. Looks like I'm cooking dinner now then. I got, got 25 minutes of practice in. I'm gonna get cooking now and listen to the latest news. Every day there's a big update at the moment, isn't there? If you've enjoyed this video, do give it a like. It really helps the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. If you're new here and you'd like to follow more of our story, do hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to watch some more vlogs from this channel, there are some end screen elements here. You are welcome to click on them and watch some more videos. Thank you so much. Bye.